Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a video talking about these four uh, wireless chargers that I bought uh, when I picked up my iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, I finally got to figure out um, a way to use MagSafe, and so I got excited and I wanted to try different uh, chargers and things like that, stands and all that good stuff. And um, these are the four that I ended up buying and uh, I've used them all, tested them, so I have some thoughts on them. Uh, I use this one and this one uh, quite a bit because these have stands, and they're ten thousand milliamp hours, so they're a little more. They got a little more juice, and I have one in my office and one downstairs. And then um, this one I have in my uh, backpack, so this stays in the backpack for um you know just to have in there as a power bank 5000 milliamp hour um but you'll see later one reason I like it pass through charging and it'll just work well if I needed it and then this little guy here is the cheapest option and uh honestly probably uh one of the best options you can pick up 5000 milliamp hour as well but it has a feature that um, I really, really like because uh, I have an issue with these other anchor ones, and we're going to talk about that. So let us jump into it, and I guess we'll go from um, the uh, my favorite, and then we'll kind of work our way down, um, maybe in terms of ranking, but we'll see. I I'd say they're all recommendable, but if you're looking for one with 10,000 milliamp hours that has a stand... I would just go with this Banks one right here. The Anchor one that's comparable to it is very similar aesthetically. They both have that faux leather cover on it, right? A little bit different on this side. You don't have that ring and everything on this one. Um, and then you have the readouts here. You have USB-Cs here, USB-As down here, and a button. They're very, very similar. Now, the actual... Um, stand on this one feels a little better to me it's a thin piece of metal but it's metal and you can prop it up very easily like so you can stand it like that if you want but um what you should know is if you want to use landscape mode it's easier to just turn your phone um it's easier to just put your phone on like this there's really no reason to to lay the uh charger down the other way um, and it's easy enough to just push down and up a little bit and your phone will pop right off. Um, the Anchor one has a similar style of uh, kickstand. Not sure if this one's plastic. It might be metal. Also held down, looks like magnetically. So they're very similar. Um, they both work well. Have no issue with either one, really. Um... And again, you get about the same angle. I'd say this one stands a little more upright. So your phone is a little more upright than it is on this guy here. Very minor difference. Um, I wouldn't say it's something you'd notice. Now, one cool feature uh, both of these have is you can turn them off. So you can hit that twice and that will cut that off so now when I put this on well it'll kick on but if I hit it twice once it's on there it'll turn off so now I can just use it as a stand a magnetic stand and I don't have to be charging I don't have to be wasting the battery in the power bank or maybe you have 90% and you just don't even need battery and you just want to watch something that's very cool that you can do that. Now, like you just saw, once you take it off and put it back on, it kicks back on, okay? So uh, we talked about pass-through charging. Essentially, what that means is you take this, plug it in here on the side, which is why it has the C plug on the side, and then you can set it down, and now you can use it in nightstand mode or whatever mode you want, and it will be charging the power bank as well as your phone and it won't you know overcharge anything it's got it's got good control of all of that and then in the morning you just take your phone off pop your power bank off and you have your combo all charged ready to go 
So it's very good for travel situations. Also, you could just use one of these as your nightstand um, situation. You wouldn't need one of those triple stands or anything. Let's say you don't have, you know, an Apple Watch or AirPods that you also need to charge. One of these would kind of double up. It would work as your nightstand charger and as your power bank. So you could just always keep these two things together um, every day. Keep this in your bag. Keep this in your pocket. And then when you need it, you need it. And then at night, you come home, plug it back in, slap your phone on it, and you're good to go. And they both support that. So if I take the anchor one here and plug that in, you'll see we have the same situation. This guy's blinking here. I can slap on the um, phone. It'll go into nightstand mode. And you'll see we're charging um, everything right now. And you're good to go. Now, um, this one, I'll show you. I believe on this one, it actually stays off. So if I hold this down, you don't double tap this one. You hold it down and let go. You'll see that cut out. So now we're not charging anymore. So I can use the uh, base as just a stand right now. Now, if I take my phone off and then I put my phone back on, it doesn't instantly come back on like that one did. So it remembers that you didn't want to charge. So then you just have to hit the button and now it'll kick on and you'll start charging. So um, that might be a good thing for you. It might not. I think it might have a timer on it. So if it's like an hour later, it will just kick right on. But at least in um, a short duration, it will stay off, which is really nice. So I think pass-through charging, that ability to just use it as a stand, um, the fact that it has 10,000 milliamp hours, these are both fantastic for those reasons. Now, the big differentiator for me on these is heat management. And I'll be honest, this Banks, I think was $36, and this Anchor was closer to 50 or 60. And this one stays cooler. This one gets pretty warm, and that bothers me a little bit because it makes you worry that you're gonna overheat something. So if I had to choose out of these two, I would 100% tell you to go with the Banks charger, and that's the one I've used the most. Now, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Uh, let me pull up my orders, because I, I paid for all of these, so there's no... Um, you know, sponsors or anything like that. Of course, I would tell you if that was the case, but um, here we go. This guy, you can see I purchased it on November 9th. It's the 10,000 milliamp hour, and this model number, just because I want to make sure you guys get the model numbers if you're interested. So this one right now is $54.99. That seems to be on a deal. And I think this one's the 633 Yep, 633 Magnetic Battery Mag Go. So if you're just really big on Anchor, I get it. And maybe you want to grab this guy. It does have um, a USB-A there and then the USB-C here. So you can use both of these as just regular power banks if you don't want to use the uh, wireless charging. They should work as Qi chargers for other stuff as well. Um, here's the banks and this one's $36. So you almost save $20 going with this one. And I think it's better. So there's really, in my opinion, no reason to go with the anchor, but if it's a brand name thing, then I totally get it. Um, it says two way, 20 watt USB-C charging. That's not for the, um, that's not for the wireless. The wireless is going to be 15 watt wireless fast charging. I'm pretty sure the anchor is going to be the same 15 watts, but let's just confirm that here. Um, 20 watt USB-C again, it's saying the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's going to be 15 watt. Um, yep, three times faster charging with the cable. Um, it, it doesn't tell us right there, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be 15 watts, just like the other guy there. Um, so those are the ones on the stands. And honestly, you know, this anchor one might be ever so slightly slimmer. 
like width wise they're about the same thickness wise so i i can't find any good excuses to go with anchor to be honest you know so there you go on those uh, then I have the two smaller ones, the 5,000 milliamp hour ones. And with these, what you want to decide on is two things, size, actually three, size, price, and heat management again. So these are both made by Anchor. We have the uh, 321 um, charger. And then this one is the MagGo 621. So it's right here on the side, 621 MagGo and 321 MagGo battery power core 5K. Now, the thing is, this is their sort of budget entry, and this is $30. Now, difference is this one has a very plasticky feel. This one has that faux leather or leather feel like the other ones I showed you here. And I do have to say that does feel better, right? But functionally and everything, doesn't matter, right? Now, this one is nice and thin. It's very thin. If you're looking for the slimmest power bank you can find, I think this is going to be along the lines of the slimmest thing you're going to find. Very lightweight, very slim. Now, they both have a USB-C port. And you'll see this one actually does not have a USB-A as well. This one... Oh, I thought I just saw it. Never mind. Um, neither of these have a USB-A port, which is fine with me. I always have USB-C to C cables and whatnot, C to lightning if you needed it. So I don't think you need a USB port, but you can charge out of those ports as well. So if you took um, a, if you took a C cable and plugged it in here and then plugged it into your phone, this will charge quicker through USB-C. Now you can also use this guy for that. And you'll see that is charging right there. So um, both of them have that ability. They both have pass through again. So if we're looking at um, plugging in a USB-C here, then you could slap this onto your phone and now you're basically charging the power bank and charging your phone at the same time. So again, you could use this at your bedside if you didn't want to use nightstand mode for whatever reason, didn't need a stand. I mean, I'm sure you could prop this up if you really wanted to. You could find a way to, you know, use something to prop it up and get nightstand mode going. Uh, maybe even if I turn it the right way, Maybe I could lean it on there or something and get it to work. You know, I don't know. But anyway, um, it would work for that. Traveling, whatever, you could just use a super slim and have it do pass-through. This one, same feature. So you'll see it should kick on in a second. And then we'll have that blinking light on the one side showing us the power bank is charging as well. So it does both, which is really uh, good. Now you can see how slimline this uh, charger really is on here. I mean, that thing is really slim. The battery on it, or the magnet, sorry, is very good. This anchor one, the uh, other anchor one, the cheaper one is a little lighter weight, so it might hold a little better. Yeah, that held really, really well. So let me just feel the magnet strength. Yeah, it feels a little bit stronger. It is a little um, lighter and that could uh, be the reason. This one from Banks, just so you can see the magnet strength is pretty good as well, right? Um, and then the big guy from Anchor. Oh, sorry, that was the Anchor. That was the Anchor, my bad. This is the Banks. Okay, so I would say out of those two, the Anchor Yeah, the Anchor feels a lot stronger actually. This does have that third that magnet down at the bottom, but um, it also could be attributed to the case or whatever, but the magnets in here feel stronger. So if that matters to you, but I've used this case a ton and I've never felt like it wasn't sitting on there properly or strong enough. So um, 
Yeah, the the other big thing with these two is basically heat management and price. So 30 bucks. This one we'll check in a second. I think it's closer to 40, 45. And this one has a, a heat regulation system. It checks the temperature like, I don't know, 30 times a minute or 100 times a minute, something like that. And it will regulate the temperature where this one does not and it will get warm just like the other anchor power bank does. So I really think out of the four that I have here, I would recommend these two. I would recommend the banks for your big guy with the stand. And then I would recommend the 321 for your smaller travel type one or whatever you want to call it, where these two are really well made and everything, but they just get warm, you know? Um, so price-wise on those other two, let's take a look. The Anchor 321 right now is coming in at $25. So, I mean, you can get the white one or the purple one right now for $25. There's a black one as well for 25. So this is a uh, no doubter for me. For anybody who's just looking for a good wireless charger, doesn't need any frills, doesn't want to spend a ton of money, 25 bucks. I mean, or 26. That's a steal right there. I'm going to link all of these down below in the description. So if you want to pick one up, it does help the channel if you uh, use my links. And then here's the uh, thin one. From Anchor, this guy is $40. So you're paying an extra $15 to get that slimmer, little bit nicer feel. And same thing here. You're spending $20 and you're getting a little bit thinner this way and a little bit nicer feel, I'd say. I like that it has the ring here and everything. But you're losing the... This has some kind of thermal management and this for sure does. Um, where these two do not. So hopefully that helps you guys um, decide if you're looking for wireless chargers. And uh, if you're not, well, thanks for watching the video. Anyway, I appreciate it. Leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.